Welcome back, folks, to a, uh, well, I guess another experiment. We did Manchester United last week with £5 billion. Now, with the withdrawal of Qatar from the uh, United um, bidding war, what if they uh, decided to reap a little bit of revenge and uh, go for another Premiership team? Rumours has it Tottenham are in the pipeline, possibly Liverpool. I don't know where I heard that from, but Liverpool was uh, rung around a little bit. But what if... They went totally the opposite direction and went to newly promoted Luton Town. But instead of investing £5 billion, what if they invested £10 billion? Because obviously, it's n they're not, no disrespect to Luton, they're not going to cost as much as Manchester United to buy. They'll have spare cash. Not that they haven't got spare cash, but they'll have spare cash and a lot more to pump in. So £10 billion, £1 billion per season. Let's see how they get on. So first of all, this is the uh, Luton setup. I mean, they've only got uh, 7,500 ticket holders. Current average age, only 26. So it's pretty young, actually. Estimated value, £87 million. Yeah, a little bit way off than the £5 billion they were offering to buy Man United with. So definitely have a lot of cash. We have a look at their player squad then. So they're not done too bad. They've got Kaminsky, Krull, James O'Shea, Walton in goal. A couple of other players as well. Uh, some that I'm not familiar with, with them just being newly promoted. Conga, Obgbeen, Mpanzu, Ross Barkley. He's there. How old, how old is uh, Ross Barkley now then? Uh, 28, was that? 28 years old. Okay. Be interested to see if they change the team at all. Jacob Brown, Woodrow, Adebayo up front, uh, Makati. As we know, they went as low as uh, the Vanarama National League and got themselves back up after plummeting to the uh, Vanarama as well, non-league. But they managed to get themselves back up on an upward trajectory all along, apart from the one season in season two where they finished... Uh, lower than the previous season but apart from that they never really look back they have got one championship win the Carabao Cup two league ones one league two a Vanarama National League winner Papa John's win and a, a third division South win as well let's see if they improve on that as well a quick look at their facilities and they have got a good pitch condition a corporate facilities basic great training facilities great youth facilities of a three youth level Due to move to a 17,500 capacity power court stadium, adequate academy and youth recruitment as well. Let's see if that improves at all. Stadium conditions very poor. So hopefully with the new move to a new stadium, maybe they might move to a different one in a larger capacity. Who knows? Like we did with Manchester United, what we're going to quickly do is we're going to go straight into the editor. We are going to pump in or just place one billion pounds the balance up to a billion and transfer kitty a billion pounds as well as you can uh, just see there so what we'll do we'll run for uh, each season for five seasons we'll come back after five see how well they've done or not maybe they'll overhaul and uh, united will regret not going with qatar for the uh, ultimate buyout but uh, we'll see what happens let's get on simulating and we'll see you at the end of the five years <laughs> So five seasons have passed, five billion pounds has been ploughed in and what have Luton to show for it? Well, the first season they finished in 17th position, just escaping relegation by the one point, which probably suggests they did not use that billion pounds in the first window. How crazy is that? All that money and you don't want to... Uh, spend it but uh yeah seven wins wow that's just uh insane uh no really major shocks in there i guess but that's poor 33 points just escaping the following season ouch they've done even worse so did they not even buy it? we'll have a look at the transfers very shortly but 26 points and relegated so this is unheard of two billion pounds now plied plowed in at this point and they've been relegated wonder if that went to the sacking of their manager then. We'll have a look at that too. The following season, obviously, will be in the uh, championship. So if we have a look at the championship at this point, um, they jump straight back. Second position, 98 points, six only six losses. 
Wow, okay. That, so that's a massive improvement. 20 points up from third place Norwich as well. And just a point off winning the league from Brighton, who also got relegated. But that is, uh, that's phenomenal. That is, um, well, at least they've jumped straight back in. So season four, they're back in the premiership. I'm just hoping it's not going to be one of them teams that just yo-yo uh, up and down. So the four, fourth season, four billion pounds have been ploughed in. And they finish eighth. Massive improvement from the previous two seasons in the Premiership. And they get a European football as well. Wow, I did wonder if we'd uh, ever get to that point. But they have done. Arsenal winning the league. In fact, Man United. They beat Man United to their eighth spot as well. 57 points. Any other shocks down here? Not really. Wolves and Brat Brighton go back down. For, uh, the fifth season then. They are into 7th position, so they've got even better. They've only 7 losses this time. In fact, that is probably the 2nd or 3rd th joint, at least in the league, I think. No, 2nd joint, at least in the league. Who did they lose to? Tottenham, Fulham, Chelsea, Leeds, Man United. Okay, nice. Chelsea win, Arsenal, Man United, City, Tottenham, Liverpool. And he shot Newcastle down in 11th position. Leeds down in 17th and uh, Brentford Palace and uh, Burnley all go down. Right, OK. First, have a look at the uh, transfers that they did because I'm, I'm intrigued because of yo-yoing up and down like that. It's crazy, but they have looks like uh, they're a top 10 side now. So the first season, they didn't really spend any money, just three million on Calderola. That is about it. Nothing really happening in that season. The following season, they did spend a little bit of money, but not an awful lot. £70 million when you got a lots of money. A lot of free transfers. If we have a look at uh, value-wise, £33 million on Ivan Tony. He's at Southampton now, so did he last at all? Two seasons before he was taken away, £22 million. So they let him go. Well, I mean, probably their striker. I mean, three and four... Jeez, why would you do that? 24 half million, Sessignon. I think he's the left back, is he? Oh, left midfielder, maybe. I thought, was, I thought he could play left. Oh, he can play left back. Okay. And Babu, five million pounds. Therese Campbell from Berlin. So no real big purchases there. Who did they let out the door? Not an awful lot. 3.8 million, Cordelota, he's gone. And they only just brought him, didn't they, for three. They wanted to make a profit on him. 0.8 of a million. 3 million, Peppel, he's gone. I don't think we bought him, did we? No. Right, season at three. Um, so this is the season that they got relegated. Oh, they came back, I think. Oh, I can't remember. <laughs> I think uh, this was the season they were relegated. And they spent £244 million. So who did they spend that on? Uh, Tillman, £38.5 million from Cologne. Looks pretty decent. 16 go uh, he's in Chelsea now. Oh wow, they're selling for a massive profit. Good first season with the uh, club in the championship, as you probably would expect though. But uh, yeah, I'm surprised that some of these big names have come to them though. Mina from uh, Villa, Servi from uh, Palace for 27, Travasos from Sporting, 25 million pounds. Two seasons, again, they're selling on for a profit. Some of these big signings, Ben Johnson from West Ham, Le Congo from Arsenal, 30, uh, 25 million in fact. Rob Holding from Palace as well. There's another one, Igor Zubeldia from Real San Sebastian. Chelsea let go of uh, the Kepa, the goalkeeper. So is that the reason why they managed to... Um... He's still at Luton actually. Probably the reason why they got promoted. 29 goals conceded in 37. That's pretty good. And only 25 in 23 in the Premiership. Doesn't look like he's their first choice goalkeeper though. Campania... From Juventus. I mean, a lot of uh, buys in there, but nothing really massively. Uh, Datro Fofana, he's gone to Chelsea. I think he's just a youngster, is it? And Vandenberg as well on Liverpool on loan. £64 million let go. So who did they let go? Sessignon for 30 Obviously, we've seen Ivan Tony as well. Yeah, there's no stability in the side, is there? Right, OK, let's have a look at the f next season. 25-26, I think this is the fourth season. £579 million spent in this season. Adam Hosleck, I mean, I like that guy. I mean, he's really, really good. Uh, young as well, I think he is. Well, he's 24 now, but he can play left wing or he could play up front as well. He's still at Luton. Three seasons and £92 million, pounds, though. Two goals in his first season. Yeah, I expect him to score a little bit more than that, though, to be fair. Especially after spending so much money. Um, yeah, 96 in total. Dean Henderson, new goalkeeper. Obviously keeping Kepper out. So what's his stats like? I'm just intrigued. 
14, 38. That's not bad, actually, 14. You know what? He's not performed that bad. He never clean sheets in that season as well, actually, uh, to be fair, when they got into seventh spot where they've been climbing. Unaval from Ajax, 65 million, 68 million. Gab Capo as well. I'm, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. How many goals has he scored? He's still at Luton. Three seasons in. Okay, I expect a bit more than that, though, to be honest. Uh, who else did they bring in? Uh, Rico Lewis from Man City, 22 years old. So they're getting youngsters in. 28 uh, games, 10. So he's getting some game time now. Rom from Lapzig, Tottenham, let go. Carrera, 34 million. Andre as well. And Kunku from Chelsea. They have gone big. I think uh, with the money now, they've decided, uh, you know, let's go and spend it now. And Diddy from Barcelona. Immobile as well from Ajax. Did he score any goals? Let's have a quick... He's uh, not there. It looks like he's retired, possibly. Or he's st maybe still there. I don't know. Okay, he's played quite a lot of games, but not really setting the world alight here in the, the Premiership, is he, really? But uh, doing enough. Uh, who did they let go of in that season? Ross Barkley, he's gone to Boulogne. Yeah, and uh, Giles Valencia. And that is about it. A lot of uh, players out on loan. And then the fifth season, £186 million spent. £64 million on Lino. Attacking midfielder. Let's have a look. He's still at Luton. Okay. Not great. £46 million on Fabio Ferreira as well. They got Tamori as well, like I've just noticed. Two seasons. He's he's there at the minute. One goal in 13. Tamori. They need a, a defender though, to be fair. Quite stable as well. He was on loan and then they bought him. They let go of £130 million. Who did they let go? Rob Holding has gone to Newcastle 15. Alan Campbell, Travisos and Tillman as well. He went for £70 million to Chelsea. 25 years old. He's a solid midfielder, isn't he? We did, uh, yeah, he had that good season, didn't he? But they did sell him on for a massive profit, didn't they? Wow, that's uh, that's an awful lot, actually. I mean, they are starting to spend the money, which is good. Let's have a look at, uh, see where they go in the comp competitions very quickly as well. In the first season, in the FA Cup, though, they went out to Man City 4-0 in the first season. They did get to the fifth round, where they lost to Arsenal 4-1 after scraping through past um, Hull and Chesterfield. Got to the fourth round and knocked out by Forrest in the following season. They did get to the semi-final. I think that's when they came back, did they? The seasons is 25-26. I think this is the first season back into the Premiership after being relegated. Losing 4-1 to West Ham. But they beat Tottenham along the way. And the following season, they get knocked out by Man City. So they've been a little bit unlucky in the FA Cup. Carabao Cup, they reached the fourth round, losing to Palace in the first season. Second season... Lost to Chelsea in the third. They did get to the semi-finals again. This, I think this was the relegated season where they spent an awful lot of money, about £250 million. Pounds, be, beating Fulham, Burnley, Villa, Man United on penalties in the quarters but losing to Liverpool 7-2. Wow. Then they reached the fourth round the following season, uh, scraping past uh, Salford but losing to Everton. And then reaching the fourth round again, losing to Southampton this time. They managed to get to the final of the Europa Conference League. Wow, I think this is the fourth season. Oh, this might be the last season, actually. Yeah, it's the uh, fifth season. They managed to get to the final of the Conference League. Amazing. Wow. They went through all the qualifying stages as well without conceding a goal. Then they went into the league phase, winning uh, all their games bar one against Welsh side TNS. And then Braga, is that Braga, BRG? I think that's Braga actually, 4 1, wow. And uh, Leon as well, 5 1. But uh, coming unstuck against uh, Stuttgart in the final. Wow, that's brilliant. And they're in the Europa next season as well. That is phenomenal. So their squad and tactics and their best players so far. So Henderson in goal. Lewis, Lamacano, uh, Tamore, Rune, uh, Neves. De They've got De Bruyne. I didn't see if they pick him up. Wow, what a what an interesting buy. Um, I'm assuming they got him on a free. Wow, 3.6 million. I missed that one. They've got De Bruyne. Oh my word. I mean, how old is he? I mean, 3.6 million, that's a bargain. 36 years old. Well, they are in the Europa League, so maybe. Wow, 
Andre, Vieira, Unavar. I'm not sure who they're going to stick up front, but I would have put um, Hoslek up front, possibly. The manager currently is Luis Enrique. Okay, the formation is not too bad, actually. It's not probably not what I would have chosen, but I do know that does work with quite a lot of teams. At least it's sort of attacking. We haven't got um, like Manchester United with Conte, where he uh, put everybody at the back. But that is uh, that's not bad. But that's close. That is close. So history. I mean, yeah, they did get relegated, uh, promoted. They're relegated, promoted, and up there to managers. So Edwards, he got sacked after they got relegated. Was he sacked? It may have been Thomas Frank. He may have been just there over the years. So he got sacked after... Edwards got sacked after two years, relegated. Is that right? Luis Enrique has been there just over a year. Did they sack him after they got promoted back to the uh, Premiership? That's crazy. So Luis Enrique has been there just over a year. And he's got Europa League football. Fantastic. Any noticeable landmarks at this point? Uh, Ross Barkley was appointed vice-captain. Lockyer, then Ruiz as captains. New chairperson, Bradley Fitzgerald takes over. Promotion from within. Capacity has been increased to 21,000 now, which is pretty good. Overall, it's not too bad. Right, uh, let's carry on. Let's go and see if they can actually win some silverware now. They haven't won anything just yet. Hopefully, they can do in the next five seasons. We're still plowing the money in. So, we'll see you when we come back after the next five. <laughs> So we've come to the end of the 10 seasons, so the next five coming up then. Um, we can see in the top right-hand corner the past winners. Chelsea have won it a few times. Arsenal, four times. Wow. Even Manchester United did get a victory uh, two seasons ago. But how did we do in the last five seasons? So we have a look at the stages and we will go back. So after finishing seventh in season five, we go on to season six. Eighth, still in Europe. Top 10 finish, fantastic. Then we move into 7th again, 28-29 season. So we are up and down around about the 7th and 8th position. Trying to break into the top 6 is uh, proving to be a little bit difficult. 29-30, we do move into 5th though, saying that. That is phenomenal stuff. Excellent. I wonder how much money we have uh, actually spent in the transfer window. But that's pretty good. Uh, ahead of Liverpool and Manchester United to drop out of Europe at this point. And then the next season, we get a second place finish. Oh my word, 71 goals, joint top goal scorers. We do concede a little bit more than uh, Manchester United, who go on to win it that season. A losing four, did they lose against Luton? No, who did we? Man United, twice. We would have won that if we uh, claimed one of them victories, I think. Only four points in it. Oh my God, we could have won the title. That's brilliant. Leeds got relegated, but they are in the... Uh, Europa League, which suggests they may have won either the Conference League, but in the Conference League last season, Leeds, I don't know actually. They might have won the Carabao Cup or something. Liverpool finishing ninth in the Champions League as well, so they might have won the FA Cup possibly. Final season, we uh, finish in sixth position, so we have established ourselves as a top 10 and possibly a top 6 team as well. That's fantastic. It hasn't gone to waste. Not like... The previous season, granted, we put ploughed in ten billion pounds, a billion pounds per season, as opposed to Manchester United, only five hundred million a season for a total of five billion. But it shouldn't make any difference whatsoever, com considering the size of the two clubs. But that is fantastic. That's a really good. Uh, wow, let's plough more money in. But they're the sort of things that could potentially happen, and I think they could. Uh, do better. So if we have a look at the current squad, it has changed formation of 4-4-2. I think Emery's still in charge. Uh, Henderson in goal, they've got Lewis, uh, Lamanarco, uh, Botman, Kolschi, Romero, Emberton, Neves, Serrano, Gakpo and Nawari. Wow. I mean, it's a decent side. And they've got Lamptey as well, Hoslek, Vieira. I mean, they've still got a lot of players on the, on the bench as well. Season 6... They spent £133 million, £35 million on Basuma from Tottenham. They've also got Dilap from Man City for just under £6 million. But £64 million of Romero from Cologne. I think he's still at uh, Luton, isn't he? And if we have a look at his history. Yeah, he's been at Luton for quite a while, actually. Consistent figures. 
Tiago from SAN and Emberton as well, Middlesbrough. And I think he's still here as well. Stats look really nice also. So middle midfield. Uh, sorry for the weird cut. I just I added that in because I, I couldn't see it. I couldn't see where it was here. But yeah, not too bad. Uh, obviously a regen, but £23 million. Again, consistent. Consistently quite good, actually. Not bad at all. They did release £81 million worth. Who did they let go? Ben Johnson and Kunku. Stones, Menji as well to Norwich for £2.9 million. Right, the following season, they do spend £204 million, of which they have spent £64 million on Serrano. And we know he's still here from Bilbao, left winger. Been with them for quite a while. Again, consistent results. And that's probably what you get for finishing in the top 10 or even close to top six. Sancho for £52 million from Manchester United as well. They bring him to the club. He can play either side, obviously. He's still at Luton and he has been for a while. Again, consistently getting good uh, figures and not scoring many goals, though. It has to be said. But uh, yeah, I expect a lot more, though. But yeah, I don't know. I just think he just doesn't like English football. Eddard as well from Leicester. Olsen from Newcastle. £17 million for a Missouri from Bayern Munich. They are getting players from decent teams as well. £277 million let go though. So who did they let go? Lino, Basuma, £47 million. Dilap. They bought him for about £5 million. Is that right? And they're selling for £46. Seriously. They bought him for £6 million and let him go. What did they see in him? I mean, he has scored some goals, but... Wow, uh, Rubicini, I mean, who's he? I didn't see him come in, but he may have done, I may have missed it. Uh, midfielder, DM, only had the one season, one game, in fact. Yeah, four games, then he went on loan, and then they sell him for a massive profit. Okay, can't argue with that, I guess. 31 million at Odbert, he's gone. Mail is gone. Mina and Diddy. Yeah, so they have uh, emptied shop, haven't they, really? Cleared their cupboards out. Following season, £237 million pounds were brought in then. Who did they bring it in? 81 to £92 million. Pound Bendini from Fiorentina. Regen. Midfielder. Looks pretty solid, actually. Physicals look mad. Uh, a few seasons with them for, again, consistently good. The players they are getting in seem to be a lot, lot better. £71 million. Pound Evan Nielsen. 47 Paul Brown. Who's Paul Brown? Regen. They do make a loss on him, so he did play some games. Not that great. Didn't really do anything, really. I expected a couple of assists in there somewhere. Who else? They did bring in Lamptey as well. And Tiste. Raphael from ATP. Uh, £63 million released. Who did they let go? Lokonga, Estevez, Missouri. £70 million spent, this, I think it's the season they finished second. So they didn't really need much of an upgrade, really, to the side. But £62 million from Botman to sit at the back looks pretty good. Apart from that, nothing really that stands out. £141 million. They are clearing the house quite a lot. So I'm assuming that's just to get rid of the wages, possibly. Or they have got endless money. So Univar goes to Chelsea for £48.5 million. 29 years old now. Left winger, midfield. Did have quite a few seasons. I mean, they didn't make that. I mean, they got the monies back off him, I think. Consistently, uh Round about the sevens. Brunelli, he goes for £37 million to Wolves. Thiago goes to West Ham in the end for 24 Eddard as well. I'm mean, interested to see how many goals he did score because he is a forward. He came from Celtic, didn't he, I think? Uh, he did play for Celtic. Went to Crystal Palace, Leicester. Then uh, Luton got in for a, a cheap, <laughs> if you could call it that. Not many goals. And then sell him on to Sevilla for eight. Yeah, cut the losses, I think. Romero goes as well, for, and Omar Richards as well. And the final season, £223 million spent. Wow. I mean, thankfully, they weren't afraid to spend the money, but they didn't really need that much money. I think it was a probably overkill with putting a billion pounds in every month, every year, sorry. But um, we just wanted to see what would happen if that was the case, if Qatar came to and bought Luton out instead. I mean, it's... Uh, it's interesting that they didn't want to spend all that money. Maybe going to the shareholders, who knows? £67 million on Colossi. Or uh, I do. Or Charlie, we'll say Charlie. Uh, left back. Well, he did get one, no, a few assists in his first season. Or not, actually. It must be the formation, clearly. But uh, a lot of money spent there. Nawari as well. Uh, £155 million for this guy. Ethan Nawanari, sorry. 
I do apologise for pronouncing it wrong. Pronunciations are not, as you probably just heard then, is uh, not my strongest uh, fealty. But uh, yeah, that's uh, Ethan, attacking midfielder. £155 million. Pounds. I mean, that's a lot of money for a 6.99 rating. One goal, one assist and seven games. Looks pretty decent, but... I wouldn't say I'd spend that much money on him, though, to be fair. To do release £65 million worth. So Paul Brown's gone, Roman's gone, Victoria's gone. So we know how they did in the league. Let's have a look, see how they did in the cup competitions. The FA Cup, they didn't get past the third round after a replay even against Leicester. They did reach the fifth after beating Rochdale Bournemouth, but did lose to Man City in the end. They get to the... Fa We've won the FA Cup. Luton have won the FA Cup. We win a trophy. Wow. That is phenomenal. Is that their first trophy, I wonder? I'm not so sure. It's a possibility they, uh, it's their first trophy. But wow, a 3-0 win over Everton. They did beat Man City in the semi-final after extra time. Chelsea, they beat in penalties. They took out some pretty big teams there. The following season, defending it, they bow out to Man City. You seem to be there all the time. Chelsea this time in the fifth round. I mean, that's insane. We've got a trophy. It doesn't matter. Carabao Cup, they'll win it in the sixth season against Liverpool after beating Everton in the semi-finals. Forest, Bristol City. Another trophy. So that is their first trophy. I think the FA Cup was a, uh, season seven, but they've won the Carabao Cup. Wow. Trophies are coming in. That's good to see. Domestically, at least. Then they bow out in the third round the following season. Fourth round. Quarterfinals. Chelsea, they did beat Manchester United. 4-1, in fact. And the final season, they reached the quarterfinals. Losing to Derby and penalties. That's disappointing. After putting out Arsenal and Southampton. So they end up in the Conference League again. This is in the 28-29 season. Oh, they got knocked out in the quarterfinals by PSV. When did they score their goal? 75th minute, that's what knocked him out. Oh, I'm so unfortunate after climbing back. And look at that, uh, the round of 16 victory, 9-0 on aggregate, 8-0 at home. The annoying thing is they did beat PSV in the group stage. They went through the qualifying rounds as well, winning every single game. I'm just not managing in that particular one. All they had to do was score a goal in on. That's unfortunate. So season six, they did qualify for the uh, Europa League and they got as far as the quarterfinals as well, losing to Leon Again, a 3-0 away loss. Followed by a 2-0 victory just wasn't enough. But along the way, they did beat Maribor, Debrecen, Rangers, Sevilla, the Drew with Basel, Glentorum, the Drew with AZ and beat Bazikas and Nice. So unfortunately, they had to play a French sides on the bounce. Just scraping through Nice and then just bowing out against Lyon. They make it again to the um, Europa League and they'll go ahead and win it. They've won the Europa League. They beat Newcastle in the final. Absolutely fantastic. This is uh, 29-30, which I think is the eighth season. They beat Villarreal, Bezikas, Lech, Astana, PSV. Got their own back on them. Uh, Lille, Slavon, Liberec, and AIK in the group stage. 100% record. Valencia, the win after drawing 1-1 away. They beat Leipzig, 4-2. Winning 3-0 at home, being decisive. And then they beat Salento 6-0 over the two legs in the semi-final. And uh, beating Newcastle in the... Oh, wow. I mean, that's the Carabao or the FA Cup Europa League now. Did they win the Champions League, I wonder? So they got to the Champions League in the 30-31 after winning the Europa League. Where they beat Lyon in the league phase. They lost to Real Madrid, one, only 1-0. One drew with Freiburg, drew with Lenz, beat Salzburg... Napoli, they drew, they beat Bazikas, drew of uh, Club Bruges, which puts them through to the round, uh, playoff round, so they didn't get to the top eight. They beat Arsenal 3-1 over the two legs, but lose to Man City again. This time, only 3-2, the 2-0 away leg. 79th and 76th minute, Haaland, of course. Interesting, uh, did uh, Haaland stay with uh, Man City all this time? Well, he's still there. 51 million, he's still putting it away, isn't he? Uh, interested to see how much he's on. Half a million pounds a week. Wow. But that's pretty good though. They they, they are pretty good in Europe though, Luton. It has to be said. And then the following season, they get to the quarterfinals with the lose out to Inter on penalties. Played Leidens again. And Twerp Sporting, they did well against Real Madrid. They beat that time. Wow. Juventus, they lost. They did beat uh, CFR Cluj 7-0. Drew Barcelona, beat Bayern. Oh my word. I mean, it does make you wonder how they didn't go on and win it though. They did win another trophy as well, the UEFA Super Cup. So when they won the uh, Europa League, they played Man City who won the Champions League. 
and they beat them 3-1 after extra time. Goals from Leather and Bendini in the extra time to seal the deal. Best in Europe. And also, finally, they did win the Community Shield when they won the FA Cup. They beat Arsenal on penalties, scoring all of their penalties and also missing one. I mean, that is... I mean, goals are all pretty close. Arsenal scored 22nd, equalised two minutes later. Then Arsenal went ahead again and we equalised two minutes later again. So we're just waiting for Arsenal to score in that game. But that another trophy, I mean, the trophies, Cup domestically and European, have been phenomenal. Just couldn't win that league. So if we have a look at the managers then. So Emery's in charge at the minute. He's been there for four years now. But look how many managers they've had. 25, 26 season. Craig Shakespeare, he was there for, he was early interim. Luis Enrique, he was there for just over a year. He left the manager role. Ernesto Valverde, half a year, just three quarters of a year maybe. He did win one trophy though. He did win the Carabao Cup, their first trophy. Brill. But then the sack him. Amazing. Then they had the caretaker position for 65 days and then Emery comes in and he brings in the uh, FA Cup, the Europa League, the Community Shield and the uh, Cup winners. So the only trophies they haven't won is the uh, Champions League and the Premiership. Who is their best player currently? So Serrano, 138 to £414 million. Then it's uh, Rico Lewis. There's a lot of value in there. Sancho's still here. Or worth up to 48 million pounds. I thought they got rid of him. Finally, let's have a look at any records that were broken. So the highest position is a record seven, uh, second position finish. 23-24 season. Fewest league goals scored in. So that's the season they got relegated back to the championship. Highest gate receipts, half a mil against uh, Freiburg in the Champions League. And highest average attendance was in the 31-32 season, the final season. So things are locking up. 29 that high scoring game against Tyrol, 8 0. High scoring league match, 4 3 against Middlesbrough in the Championship. I think that was when they were fighting to come back. 28 goals by Ivan Ilsen, the most in the season. House rating by Sancho, 7.4 in the 30 31 season. Amazing. 29, a fastest goal, 15 seconds by Gapco against Manchester United in the league. Wow. Most assists by a player, Sancho. Henderson, most clean sheets. Sancho also gets most player of the match awards in his seasons. Around about the 2030s, they've uh, been uh, pretty good for Luton. Youngest goal scorer, Danny Ryan, 18 years and 123 days in 2029. Oldest goal scorer is Immobile at 36, nearly 37 years old against Bournemouth in 27. I don't think anything else is here. Uh, highest transfer fee paid, 147, nearly 148 million pounds for Ethan Nwaneri in 32th final season, I think, or one of the final seasons. And the highest transfer fee received for Thielman to Chelsea for just under 70 million pounds. So we're going to leave it here. Thank you very much for watching. What do you think of uh, this experiment? I mean, they've been pretty good and consistently at the top of the uh, premiership so that's really good the money hasn't gone to waste they are getting better players each season one billion pounds per season seems very excessive but interesting to see how they do so if you did like this video smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so and we'll see you next time where the next video will be fm24 thank you very much for watching